Hello my friends, we finally meet the end of our journey with MANOVA and in this video we're going to go through and examine the protocol for initiating a MANOVA. Now when we conducted our MANOVA using SPSS we proceeded as follows. We checked the dependent variables for normality, we obtained a correlation matrix for our dependent variables, we conducted the MANOVA and evaluated all the assumptions and obtained effect size and power for the MANOVA. Now the issue becomes how are we going to report this? Well, when you, when you do your reporting, one of the first things you want to do is you want to report on the mean, the standard deviation, and the number. Now I'm going to point out to you because just because something is done a certain way in SPSS doesn't mean you leave it that way. You would never leave group 1, 2, and 3. You would put public, uh, for-profit, not-for-profit in place of 1, 2, and 3. You want to look at your, your decimals out here. You probably want your means to one decimal and these to two and your numbers. You can make that a lot cleaner. But you know here you obviously have the percent of women, your total, and, and the means for each group. Uh, the percent of black enrollment and means for each group. And the percent of Hispanic enrollment and means for each group. Some of these descriptives are indeed very, very interesting. This one and this one are very, very interesting. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, go here. The next thing you would want to do is report on your uh, normality, your kurtosis, and your skewness. Uh, this table, of course, you know I was playing around and I put the mean, median, and mode and all that out, but the skewness variable is what you need. Uh, that tells us right skewed, left skewed, left skewed. Uh, the kurtosis is also important, and you can report on the standard error as well. All of the kurtosis variables are less than three, which tells us that the variables are somewhat flat compared to a normal distribution. Uh, then, of course, you want to provide the histograms. This is the histogram for the percent of women, the percent of the black enrollment, the percent of Hispanic enrollment. You also need to report on the homogeneity of variance. Uh, this is the Levine's test, and of course none of these meet a 0.05 threshold. And then the box is uh, test of equality of covariance, and again we're significant there. You never put 0 0.000, you would always do less than 0 0.001. Then you report on your correlations. Uh, here we have the correlations of each variable to the other, so you can look at that and you can report on that. Uh, you conduct the MANOVA, and of course here I have it in two pieces. This is the first half where we have significance, and then it is continued where we have the partial eta squared and all of those other issues that are in there. Conduct the post hoc analysis as needed. This is the post hoc table. Uh, you need it because the significance of the study, uh, the differences are, are significant by group. We generally report on the Wilkes Lambda and the Wilkes Lambda shows us that we have a very significant differences in the data set, so you would report on the post hoc analysis. If it had not been significant, then the post hoc analysis would have been meaningless. Uh, we need also to discuss the effect size and the power. If significance is found in our corrected model, uh, these the effect size for the percent women and the percent Hispanic is a large, the effect size for the percent of black is moderate. Uh, the power is, is, is downright respectable, 0 0.995, 0 0.911, and 0.993. So what we conducted was indeed a very powerful, powerful test. Uh, I want to thank you for your support. I know I went through that fairly rapidly, but I just wanted you to see the order that you would report this in in your data. Just because it occurs in a certain way in SPSS, in the way you report it, you report it in a logical fashion, you're, you're looking to give your descriptives, you're evaluating your assumptions, your normality, uh, your, your, uh, with its kurtosis and skewness, then you want to look at your homogeneity of variance, then you want to come in and do the MANOVA. If you have significance, report on the post hoc uh, results and uh, look then at the, the power, the effect size and power. Again, I want to thank you very much for your support. It's been very enjoyable going through Manova with you. Brings back a lot of memories of when I was also in the salt mine. May the odds be ever in your favor. This is the old dog signing out.